running um, when I was very young. Like I used to come to Marsa Sports Club and just run, score a sport. About two years ago, I realized that, that I wanted the sports in my life, and I said it's one of the coolest sports, and I, I'm really good at it. So, so I give it a try, and and I did well. So it's encouraging. I knew an athlete, um, a girl at, at junior college, and I approached her and I told her, where do you train, with whom? She told me, I train with Mario Bonello, he's a renowned athlete in Malta, and so I sent him an email, he told me, just come here and we'll see. And, uh, well, he was satisfied, and he said, just keep on training, and, well, that was it. Six days a week every day practically except Sunday. So we have to train about two hours a day from four to six. It's, it's, it's a commitment, but you have to enjoy it because if you don't enjoy it, it becomes a chore and this is sport. The best feeling I think is the acceleration, the, the block start. I mean, you feel really fast. If you, if you compete against someone who doesn't train, you would feel faster. Um, locally, what encourages me is my coach, Mario Bonello. I mean, he's 37 years old now, he's still running, he's still competing, and he's still almost better than anybody else. So, it's an inspiration. Well, um, one cannot like, not like his aim bolt, he's, he's like the phenomenon right now. But um, there's a white guy, because in sprint, if you watch the Olympic final, it's all black people. But there's a white guy now, he's French, Christophe Lemaitre, and he's very good. I mean, not at the top, topest level, but he's there, and uh, it's an inspiration that a white guy can do it, so, <laughs> so can us. Diet well, not really, you just have to stay healthy. I mean, the obvious things, uh, fast food is not good, drinking soda is not good. Uh, if you keep your body healthy, you ultimately do better in the sports. Um, otherwise, you have to do some core training at home, so stretching. It's, it's, it's added hours, you know, but they're important as well. Well, and there's a scheme right now, it's called the 2020. It's, it's very good. Um, it's, and Diana, uh, she trains with us. She's with the scheme right now. Um, it's you work 20 hours and you train 20 hours and the government pays the difference to the to the private company so it's very good but well with me i don't know if it's that possible for doctors anyway um professional well we train almost as much as professionals six times a week but i, I like doing this this is the most important thing it's not that i'm going to use this as my job but it's a hobby and it's a hobby which i take seriously so i enjoy it and uh, well, professional is, is a big word. Um, I just started last year. As I said, I had stopped athletics. And um, athletics is a difficult sport to do in one year. But last year I had a, a really great success. I finished fifth overall in the 100 meters. And it was mo just my first year, so I was really encouraged. Now this year um, I've had injuries. I've had a back injury, I've had a groin injury. And I'm still just coming out of the injuries, so I wasn't really running that well. I'm studying medicine. People think that um, studying and sports don't go well together because sports takes a lot of time. Maybe sports is for those people who don't have anything to do, anything to study, but I do and I manage to, to get good grades and fit other stuff, fit a social life. And, and yes, I can do it. There are two types of sessions, the one where you just train for resistance, the easy sessions like we're doing today, and then the fast ones. And you have to alternate them because you can do many fast sessions right after each other. Your body won't regenerate, the muscle won't heal, so you have to, to plan training. Training is a plan, you're just not just running about doing as much as possible. If you remove the... the time wasting, you can fit a lot of things in your life. And I just realized that when I increased stuffing things into my timetable. So yes, I've become a more organized person and I do more things than I used to do before.